All right, folks, gonna do a little video here on control boxes for the uh, 800 and 900 series trucks. Uh, of course, these boxes here are all open. Um, first box, gonna be 800 series box. Um, of course, there's a chipboard in there. All it is is one giant diode is all it is. Um, you don't need it. Um, two different types of solenoids. Um, something they did for a while. Works the same principle as the 900 series box. It uses a different kind of jumper wire to power up the second solenoid. Um, so it's kind of a old box. You can you cannot use a 800 series box on a 900 series truck, but you can use a 900 series box on an 800 series truck. So this being said, if you want to rebuild this box, you would want to cut both these solenoids off, cut the welds off, remove this chipboard, and basically wire up the bottom how it wants to do. Um, the wiring deck is pretty easy. This wire here would not be used, and this wire here would not be used. The rest of them will be used. You especially just delete them, and um, pretty much no really need. Um, sorry, I turned the camera. I'll do it this way; be a lot easier. Um, this is the normal 939 series box people were used to seeing. Um, of course, there are two solenoids. And uh, wires in the bottom, actually, you do use the red wire. The other wire is actually left off in the 800 series. The yellow one is. Um, this box here is a little corroded. Normally what happens is moisture gets in here and it can't get out. So, um, that's that. Two solenoids, one on top is an intermittent duty solenoid. You can use a continuous solenoid, uh, 24063. Um, same as top and bottom. Cut the uh, tack wood off the back. Both them in with quarter inch bolts. Um, Dale with O'Reilly's Napa. Napa number is ST88 solenoid, but it is very, very expensive. Um, of course, this is the box. Uh, this is the Southern Automotive box, too. Um, it actually will look like it'll have a like that on the front of it. It's actually kind of weird. Um, you'll see more of these on a, when you purchase them. Um, it uses the same principle as the old 800 series box. It uses a, uh, a solenoid, um, a, a, a control, uh, chipboard type diode setup rather than using just regular old inline diodes like the 900 series box uses. Um, to me, this is more efficient. You don't need half them damn things in there anyway, but if you hook your batteries up backwards, it's your own damn fault and blow it up. So, um, I use these boxes. Uh, I strip them down. Um, basically, same price. They have two solenoids in there. Not that big of a deal. Um, and it wires to that chipboard on top. What I normally do is I use these boxes for the single solenoid modification and just leave the box open. Hook the cable up to the bottom. Um, so I'll have to open the weather elements and spray it with a Teflon coating so it won't get, you know, corroded and everything else. But it does work pretty well. This is the last box. This is kind of a, a weird dude. Because um, there's a lot of crap that ain't needed. Like all that, you know, like, it's just, yeah. <laughs> there's a lot of junk in here. You can't even tell what half the crap even is. Um, but like, this right here, all it is is a diode. Big, bulky diode. And the same thing is done right here, but that's a little bitty inline. So, I think this is a second generation box they made. Um, so, a little weird, a little, a little complicated. I usually gut it and uh, go to a uh, regular old solenoid setup like I have on the rest of them. And just make my own jumper wires and own diode connectors. Um, so, I mean, really, you don't need any diodes, really. But um, just for protection, a couple things. But this this little thing here is kind of complicated. You, see, you can't see half the crap in here, and a lot of it's just yeah, like that right there. There's 30 feet of ground wire that's not you know not even needed. So um, they all use the same plug-in though. Um, this box here will be a lot heavier, but the the lid will be a little different sealed box here will be you know light thin metal kind of hard to kind of easy to notice that one this one here is obvious the 800 series boxes will use a hardened 
shell. I mean, this is actually says 900, but it came off like a non ABS truck. The uh, 809 series boxes can work on a non ABS 939. So, um, so the way to get it out is, is you got a On the end right there, this, this solder is all it is. Just take it and melt it off and slide out the bottom. That's all you gotta do. So, only melt the bottom, and you'll have four screws in the back side of it holding it in. But always melt the bottom and just pull it out. Um, so, that's about it. That's all the different control boxes there can be. Um, same principle. Uh, go to this two solenoids 24063 these right here you'll want to delete a bunch of crap out of it this one here you can build your own not a big deal it's there other uh, than the diodes but uh, pretty pretty simple but these are the different control boxes there are no electronics in them compared to people believe there's no electronics in these things at all it's all just diodes and just stupid stuff um, that chipboard is, is a diode so um, but that's it